Hello everyone, only Draven here again, and today we're doing another tutorial in Minecraft Sky Factory 4. Uh, today I'm going to be showing how to use the electrolytic separator, uh, which is a component that allows you to make different types of gases, um, most importantly hydrogen. Uh, this is something that was requested and needed for some of the other tutorials that I've made in the past, so uh, just kind of showing you how to put that together. Uh, if you find this video helpful and you like it, please be sure to click like. Uh, but most importantly, please remember to hit that subscribe button. That way you can see all my videos and tutorials as they come out. Okay, uh, so first things first, uh, you're going to need to make an electrolytic core. Um, so for that, you're going to need four enriched alloys, or sorry, five enriched alloys, two osmium dust, a pulverized iron, and a pulverized gold. That'll give you your core, which you're going to need to make your actual electrolytic separator, which is that core, two more enriched alloy, two redstone, and four iron ingots. Next, you're going to need some basic gas tanks, at least one, probably more. Um, and that, each one of those is four redstone and four osmium ingots. There are different levels of gas tanks, such as advanced and such, which can hold more gas, uh, but we're just going to be using the basic one for today. Uh, now for this setup, I'm going to be using an infinite water source, although any water source will work. Uh, for an infinite water source, it is two tin ingot, two water bucket, and four basic plating. And then last thing is basic pressurized tubes. There are, again, more advanced pressurized tubes. We're just using the basic today, which is just a couple of steel ingots and some glass. We're also going to need an RF power source. Uh, for today, I'm going to be using an energy battery, uh, which is powered by... Um, some solar power and wireless energy. Uh, if you're not sure how to use those, there's a tutorial for that on my channel as well. Let's go ahead and grab our components here. So we're going to start by, I'm going to set this on top for this one. There we go. So an electrolytic separator needs an RF source. I like to power it from the bottom. And the reason for that is there are different sides to the component you can see. And each of those sides allows you to connect to other machines or to different gas tanks. Uh, by powering it from the bottom, uh, it doesn't use up any of those slots. Um, when you click on the component itself, you'll see that there are several different slots. Um, and to figure out exactly what you're making, you can click the arrow here in the middle, and it will show you different combinations. For example, today I'm going to be showing how to make hydrogen specifically. So our primary tank needs water in it, and that is going to make hydrogen and oxygen. If we were to put heavy water in, we'd get deuterium and oxygen. I probably butchered that name. And then, of course, if we put brine in, we will get sodium and chlorine. Now, these different gases can be used to make different things using other machines. Uh, but today we're going to be primarily showing how to make the hydrogen. So um, for water, basically we want to have water running into the machine. Easiest way to do that is to drop an infinite water source right on the back of it. And then when you click on it, you're going to see that the water is filling up. Now, that automatically will start the recipe. As you can see, I have hydrogen already filling up in this tank and oxygen filling up in this tank. To get the hydrogen or the oxygen out, super easy, just drop a basic gas tank or any gas tank into the slot underneath. And as you can see, it is now filling that up. So once this tank fills, it'll then overflow into the original space here, or you can take the tank out and just drop in another one. Um, but this is 100% self-sufficient um, up until the point that your tank fills, as long as it has um, an original source for the recipe. So now that I've put that on infinite water source, I can just stand back and let those tanks fill up with hydrogen or, um, in this situation, oxygen. And then I can take those tanks and use them in other machines. Now, you can also take basic pressurized tubes and connect them to any of these slots here. Okay. And then you can connect those to other machines of the same mod type. Um, this will allow you to transmit, well, maybe not on the front, but on the side ones, you can transmit. As you can see here, there's white there and blue there. And that's because it's, if I didn't have the tanks here, it would be taking the hydrogen and taking it out this left side. And then oxygen would be coming out this right side. So if I wanted to run one of those gases directly into another machine, I can do that. I don't have to put them into tanks. Um, so you can connect other machines uh, from the mechanism mod pack uh, directly into your separator to then just kind of automate further systems. 
uh, but that's a little more advanced. We'll look at that another day. Today, we're just showing you how to make the gas itself. And so um, right off the bat, as you can see, this is just going to continue to fill. And if I need that, I can always take it out, drop another one in there, and then come back later. So, And the water will just continue to fill from my infinite water source. But that is all that's involved with really using the separator. Um, I know that I've had a lot of questions about it, especially on how to make hydrogen. Uh, so I wanted to do a quick tutorial showing how to do that. Um, but that's really the basic process. If you have any questions about this tutorial or any of my other tutorials, please be sure to throw those down in the comments. Um, I'm always happy to answer as quickly as I can. And if you have any recommendations or suggestions for other tutorials you'd like to see in Sky Factory 4, throw those in there as well. I'm always looking for some more ideas for things people need me to put together. So uh, that's going to do us for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.